There has always been a lot of chatter and debate about unpaid gigs and work in 3D art. You see, young new artists want to get into the industry so they work for free or for little compensation, and they even do overtime for free too. On the other hand, experienced artists or veteran artists don't need experience. They need to reap the benefits of their hard work over the years and decades. So this does not fly for them anymore. The problem is for many is that these new artists kind of bring down the value of labor in the industry and encourage companies and studios to use them to work for free for long hours. And this is just an example that I saw recently. Aviary Productions recently posted a job listing for a creature modeler. But what's the catch you might say? Well, this is a free, non-paid position. In return, they offer experience, portfolio pieces, and teamwork opportunities. Despite the lack of pay, people are applying. In fact, more than 70 artists applied in just two days. And this got me thinking. Why are 3D artists willing to work for free and does it actually pay off in the long run? To be fair, for beginners, unpaid gigs often feel like a way to break out of the vicious cycle of no experience, no job. And studios want you to have experience. But how are you supposed to get it if no one is willing to offer you a job? And Aviary Productions promise what they call high-quality portfolio pieces, which can sound like an ideal solution on paper. But a closer look can reveal some interesting things for an unpaid job. For example, they are asking you to work 15 hours a week, regular meetings, and they are requiring advanced skills like sculpting, grooming, and creating game-ready assets. These aren't beginner-level tasks, and one Redditor did raise a good point, saying that if they are looking to gain experience, why do they want a competent and experienced 3D artist instead of a beginner? It is actually a valid point, to be honest. If they are asking for a professional level contribution, doesn't it make sense to offer professional pay? That being said, unpaid work isn't inherently bad. For self-taught artists or those without formal education, these gigs can provide a structured learning environment. You might get to practice teamwork, refine your workflow, and develop industry-relevant skills. But whether or not it is worth it depends on the specific projects that you're gonna work on, and whether you are learning something new or you are just grinding through tasks that you already know how to do. Another consideration is whether the unpaid gigs connect you to people who can help you land the next job. Generally speaking, networking is crucial in creative fields, and collaborating on a project with experienced professionals can sometimes open lots of doors. An actual example of that would be Alan McKay, who himself struggled landing jobs and recognized the value of networking. And later, he became one of the best VFX artists in the industry. However, this isn't always the case. If the team lacks industry experience or connections, the networking potential might not be worth it as an investment. Again, the studio offering this job for free emphasizes teamwork and collaboration in their listing, which can appeal to many artists, especially new ones. But the problem is, they are asking 15 hours a week, which is a significant time commitment. If you are already juggling a job, school, or personal responsibilities, this could be a tough ask. Some of you might argue that those applying for unpaid positions could gain just much, if not more experience, by working on different things, like VR chat models or selling assets on platforms like Sketchfab or CG Trader, for example. And you can earn a lot of money from that. And to be fair, you wouldn't be wrong. VR chat commissions, for example, have become a good market right now. Some character models reportedly bring six-figure commissions annually by catering to this demand. Even if you are not aiming that high, working on commissions offer valuable opportunities that can honor your skills, help you interact with clients, and learn lots of things in the industry. And freelancing isn't just about money either. Generally speaking, I think of it as an opportunity to take ownership of your work from concept to completion. And platforms like Fiverr, ArtStation, or even Discord communities can connect you with clients and even other freelancers and artists to gain practical experience and knowledge.
Now let's go back to the topic at hand and what unpaid work does mean in the big picture. Taking on free gigs can unintentionally send the message that exposure or experience is a fair trade for proper pay. This kind of mindset, I think, kind of devalues or undermines creative work and makes it tougher for other artists to get decent rates. And I'm not alone in this. When skilled folks put their time and effort without compensation, it sets a precedent that makes it harder for everyone to push back and demand fair pay for their work. And let's not forget the sheer effort involved in these kind of projects, especially the one we are talking about. Creature modeling is a highly specialized skill. Think about it. Sculpting alone can take about 50 to 100 hours, and this is only one phase of the process. When you add grooming, low poly optimization, and other adjustments, the workload becomes massive. If a project demands this level of commitment, it is only reasonable to expect compensation, especially if they are asking for complex creatures, which can take hundreds of hours in sculpting alone. For those thinking about taking unpaid gigs, it might be worth checking out some other options first. Personal projects can give you freedom to experience and experiment and develop new skills on your own terms. And freelancing can be more demanding but comes with a bonus of actual pay alongside experience. Long-term goals should also play a role in your decision. So, if you're aiming for a job studio, and paid projects that mimic professional workflows might be beneficial. But if you are more interested in freelancing or independent work, you're probably better off focusing on personal projects or paid commissions. To give them credit when credit is due, Aviary's project is actually a portfolio game intended to be released for free meaning nobody involved will have monetary returns from this game. On the surface, this might seem like a more ethical setup, but it still doesn't change the reality that your time and effort have value and that people have to pay bills at some point, even if the project isn't for profit. It's worth thinking carefully about whether the time you spend truly aligns with your personal or professional goals generally speaking. And I think for many, this is an important reminder. And there you have it guys, I would like to hear what you think about this in the comment section down below. Also if you like this video and you want more content like this, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below too. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.